Hey everybody, Professor Klein back here in the new human anatomy lab at Ohio University. And today I'm bringing you a special, special video on a completely new anatomy model that I have never seen on YouTube before. And that's the, the cochlear duct model. All right, this is the cochlear duct model, but we gotta figure out the question of where the heck is the cochlear duct? Well, for that, I'm bringing in the ear model. Check out this other video linked above for the ear model. If you want me to lecture through, talk through this model. But what we're really looking at is in the inner ear, travel all the way through the ear here, you get through the middle bones and you get to what's called the cochlea. The cochlea is where you actually hear things. Here's some pictures of the cochlea and you can see it, it kind of looks like a snail or personally, I think it looks like a cinnamon bun as well, but that is the cochlea. Now, if I were to take this cochlea and I take it over to the other model, which is right here, this is the cochlea down here. And you can see it looks very, very similar to that model I just showed you. It's got a nerve coming off of it called the cochlear nerve. But what we're gonna focus on is this cinnamon bun looking area, the cochlea itself. Now it spins around about two and a half times. And if I were to pull this off, you'll see that there's different chambers or canals, ducts, whatever you want to call it, inside the cochlea. So what we got going on up here are those different areas. And if you notice, there's different colors. So this top area here is called the scaly vestibuli. Scaly vestibuli, it's that top compartment of the cochlea. And it sits on top of what's called the cochlear duct. Now this whole pink area here, you see this pink area? And you can see the pink area over on this side. Looks like a little triangle, right? That is the cochlear duct. And lastly, the green area. That green area is the scaly tympani. Scaly tympani for that green area. That's the bottom part of the cochlea. But if you were to take this pink part, and I'm going to zoom in real close for you here, and you were to expand it on out that's this section up top and what you can see are a few different items you can see inside the cochlear duct it's also called the scaly media meaning the middle layer middle chamber here but you can see the tectoral membrane tectoral membrane which is on top of the hair cells which are the, the cells that will bend and change shapes and detect the actual sound. And underneath, down here, we've got the basilar membrane. So take a look at that basilar membrane right here. Now, if you look real close, you'll notice those green cells, green hair cells are connected. I'll get real close here. They're connected to nerves and these nerves travel out and eventually become this cochlear nerve here and travels to your brain to process that auditory information. But this has been your video on the cochlear duct model.